Hey guys, I'm Trick or Trauma, and today we're talking about the very first stress hormone that I ever really looked into, which is cortisol. You know, cortisol is part of our parasympathetic nervous system, that fight or flight nervous system, and within normal limits, it does a great job, but in excessive limits, it can be very detrimental to your heart, your internal organs, and if you're one of these guys who are out here and you've done everything you reasonably think of to do to get a six pack of abs, but you're holding on that last little bit of belly fat, cortisol may actually be your problem. You know, studies have shown that beyond just dietary changes, which are really easy to find on the internet, that two of the ways that we can reduce cortisol in our bodies is through crying and through sweating. And to be honest with you, I'm not much of a crier, so I choose to try to sweat mine out. This morning, I went and did 45 minutes of cardio, got a decent sweat on there, hopefully remove some cortisol. This afternoon, I've been in my attic, it's about 90 degrees here, and I've been in my attic replacing HVAC duct work, got a pretty good sweat on there, so hopefully I reduce some more cortisol through doing that. Studies have also shown beyond having excess, excessive limits of cortisol in our sweat and in our saliva post-workout, that if you're doing a, a high intensive type of training, like a HIIT training or a CrossFit training, you can actually, because you're placing the body under tremendous amount of stress for multiple hours, and this is referenced to three or more hours a day, because you're placing the body under that excessive stress for multiple hours in a row, that you could be building cortisol to the levels that you're then unable to fully remove it through sweating. So you could potentially carry that cortisol on for multiple days afterwards. So if you're doing a high intensive physical training consecutive days in a row, you may want to consider the fact that you could be carrying in that cortisol over multiple days. Cortisol is one of those things that can build in our body through natural stressors, you know, relationship stresses. Uh, you could be worried about finances. You could be worried about what's going to happen with the economy. And cortisol the whole time could be building in your body. And like I said, I'm not much of a crier. So I'm going to try to affect that with my diet and through sweat. All right. So cortisol guys is one of those things in excessive limits you don't want to carry it it's like gasoline running through your veins and this is all about longevity this is about you know that keeping that heart healthy this is about working your life and then being able to in your later years reap the benefits of all the efforts you've been able to put in throughout your life and cortisol is not going to be your friend in that so I would prompt you to look into cortisol and then to take the steps necessary in your life to reduce cortisol as much as you can. Because like I said, within normal limits, it's a great thing. You want a good intact parasympathetic nervous system, but in excessive limits, it's not something that you want to be carrying over if you possibly can help it. So my, my you know, thing for today would be reduce your stress as much as possible. If you can't reduce your stressors, Get a good sweat on. If you need to cry, you go ahead and cry. Look at what you could do to your diet. Most of the time they're gonna tell you that increasing your fiber is gonna help with cortisol. But do what you can to remove that excess cortisol from your body. It's not gonna help you in the long run. And again, this is about making it to the finish line in as good a shape as you can. So I'm Trick or Trauma. I hope you guys have a good day.